morning i'm doing a uh, video for a valve adjustment on a outlander 450 uh mine is a 2019 i believe that they're all the same though on the 450 second gen ones uh, how do i turn this thing around bear with me on the video i'm using a cell phone and it shares like my second youtube video but um you take the uh, side plastic piece off, then you get into it where there's uh, four valve covers. The other ones are back in here. I'm trying to keep the phone out of the screen. There's one. The other one is in the front right there. To get those off, I'm using a little torque drive with a T30 on it. Uh, they were pretty easy to break them loose. Then you can just screw them out by hand after. Okay, that. after you got the valve cover off, there's the mine has blue lines on it. I've seen some that don't have the blue uh, lines on it. It's just like these little indents you can kind of see in there, right there, right there. Anyways, after it needs to line up with the bottom of your uh, head, right here. So you have to rotate it around till that there's lined up. Now you can do that, you can rotate it one or two ways. You can uh, pull the um, cover off for the clutch and then disassemble or pull, the, uh, pull that off if you're replacing the belt at the same time and spin it. But since uh, I uh, burned my belt up a couple weeks ago, I'm not doing that. I'm going to uh, pull this cover off, and then there's a, uh, you can put a nut in there, or not a nut, but a bolt in there, and spin the engine over that way to uh, get it to top dead center. Okay, actually I got this right here off, right there, with a uh, H14, you can get these right here at, uh, this is Duralast, so AutoZone. But right there h14 and then after that right there book said it was a 13 millimeter so i'll go off their word and try a 13 millimeter first but you want to turn this clockwise or towards the front of the four wheeler that way you don't back off the uh mag magneto which i'm assuming is right there but i'll update you once i get to uh, it spun around the top dead center. Okay, now I got it spun around the top dead center. And yes, the book was right. That is a 13 millimeter back in there. Take my light off my hat so you can see it better. Right there. Uh, you just spin that right there clockwise and it spins the engine. And then uh, you wanna get those lined up. It looks like I need to spin it just a tad bit more because it's kind of crooked. So I'm gonna spin it probably just a little bit more. I was kind of watching to see when the valves stopped moving, but I need to spin it just a little bit more. Um, I'm actually gonna grab a, uh, a ruler and stick down on it to make sure it lines up with the ruler also. The uh, valve clearance is on the exhaust side. You just kind of run it in between the you will have to come up from the top and shoot down at it. Okay, for the exhaust, you just kind of want to run it through here. And then I'll uh, put the uh, tolerances on the link below. Uh, and this right here is actually at the top of it. Okay, so it fits underneath there, really snug. Then right there was five thousandths of an inch. Okay, after you get all of them uh, adjusted and everything and inspect, which uh, I had 43 hours on this bike and all of them were in spec still at 43 hours. Um, reason why I did it so early is because I smudged it and uh, cleaned everything out. So I just wanted to make sure. And I'm pretty rough on it. So it said to do it at 50 hours. So I'm doing it after a little bit earlier. Mainly because I smudged it. Yeah. 
Uh, now I'm just going to put the valve cover back on, uh, torque that down, and then put the uh, bolt right there and uh, torque that. And put the plastic piece back on and run it. Y'all have a good one. See you next time.